Hello everyone, my name is Tim and I'm one of the product specialists here at Spy Center Security, the Spy Gear Superstore. And I'm here today to talk to you guys about counter surveillance. This guide will help make sense about what bug detectors actually are and how they work. I will also go over the reasons why there are so many and how they are not created equal. A bug detector is a general term about a device that will help locate something that may be spying on you. This could be a microphone that listens in, a camera that views your every move, or even a GPS tracker that could be tracking your vehicle. There are many forms of counter surveillance. You have RF detectors, camera lens finders, white noise generators, and even signal blocking bags as the main different types. I'm going to talk about each one in order to help guide you guys to the correct device depending on what you're trying to find. First up, we have radio frequency detectors, or RF detectors for short. These devices pick up on the source of a wireless signal, meaning if you have an antenna that is transmitting information, it would be able to locate that antenna. The easiest way to visualize this is to think about how a metal detector works. The closer you are to a piece of metal, the device will beep. This operates the same way, but do keep in mind that it's, a, it's locating a signal. This could be a wireless camera, a wireless microphone, or even something completely harmless like your handheld radio, TV, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or even just your smartphone. This is where RF detectors start to separate themselves and you can see a large difference between them. Higher end RF detectors, such as this one, have the ability to distinguish one signal from another that they are detecting. A really good example of why and how this is useful is say you're doing an RF sweep in a high-rise building and the RF detector you're using starts to indicate there's a strong signal nearby. After some intense searching, you realize it's just a Wi-Fi extender from the floor below you that is skewing the results that it's detecting. A higher-end RF detector would have told you that the signal it's detecting was actually just a Wi-Fi signal, which you would have just allowed you to ignore completely and just move on with your sweep. This feature is extremely useful when you cannot control your environment, such as being outdoors to sweep a vehicle, living in an apartment or condo, or even if you're just staying in a hotel. And those are just some of the few examples. Another thing that you can look out for, which can distinguish RF detectors from one another, is a lot of them are actually coming with multi-function designs. A lot of the higher end unit RF detectors, such as this one here, will have multiple features built right into the same device. So it would have the ability to say, not only detect RF signals, but produce white noise to secure a conversation, or this one even has a uh, camera lens finder built right in. Now, no two RF detectors are built the same and have the same multifunction use, so it's really up to you to find the features that would help your unique situation. Now, I would recommend watching the video located on each product page on our website for each one of our counter surveillance products to get the best idea of what features and how it can help you. The last thing that can set RF detectors apart is their detection range. This simply means how many different signals they can detect. You can find this information in the spec sheets or feature section on our website. This is important because if you're looking for a device that transmits on a 7 gigahertz band and the detector you're using caps out at 6 gigahertz, the RF detector you're using literally cannot detect that signal and you'll never be able to locate its source. Up next is our camera lens locators. This is an extremely basic concept, but it works incredibly well. Essentially, what this does is it finds a camera's lens by shining a light out as you look through a viewfinder that's tinted to, to dull all colors. What happens is that the light refracts off of a camera's lens and then shines back at you and appears like a little dot shining back towards you. The genius behind this design is the fact that it finds both wired and wireless cameras. Since it finds a camera's lens, and every camera requires a lens in order to focus, you can literally find any camera with one of these devices. If you want to know more or see a demonstration of how it works, take a look at the product page for this product under the counter surveillance section. White noise generators produce noise to confuse audio recorders. This could be a bunch of recordings played on top of each other to blend in with your conversation, or simply static noise that is louder than the spoken word. These devices are designed to conceal and keep your conversations private. 
To know more about them and to see a demonstration on how they work, take a look at the product video demonstration on the product page under counter surveillance. Lastly, we have signal blocking bags. When you place your phone into this bag, it prevents any and all signals getting to and from the phone. Why would you want to do this? Well, say if someone's tracking your phone or activating the microphone in your phone remotely to listen to your conversations, while your phone is actually placed inside this bag, it would prevent that from happening completely. Now keep in mind, while your phone is in the bag, it also will prevent you from using the phone or sending or receiving messages like phone calls or text messages.